Um, I was a daily drinker by 15. I finally found a way to, to not be in myself. Like I didn't have to be me. I was tougher than you, I could out talk you, out drink you, out cuss you, and I could do crazier things than anyone you knew, and that was like my MO. You know, I would, I would wake up and I always had this, I, call, I used to call it the monster that lived in my stomach. Because I would wake up and there was just this feeling in my gut, this so much shame. And you can't live with that feeling. So, you know, you, you drink some more, you do some more drugs, or you do something to cover that up. By the time I was 24, I, was, um, I had moved out here because I had lost everything. August 12th, 2003, I had woke up in the morning in the back seat of my car in a field. It was just like my soul was done. God, I can remember it. I just gripping the carpet and just smashing my face in the carpet and just for the first time in my entire life I just cried. I was like, God, God, you've got to help me. I ended up um, going and finding a rehabilitation, you know, a drug rehabil rehabilitation place. I was driving back and it was a summer night and so it was still light out and I remember looking out the window and thinking, my, the sky is beautiful. And it's like all of a sudden I'm just like flooded with all this, I mean I know it sounds weird, like I could smell and I could see and it was just very intense and I actually pulled over. There was this song that they had been playing that um, I could only imagine. They were playing it on the regular radio station. I realized that that voice, that all-consuming voice in that monster that had been, it was gone. That's when I gave my life to Christ, like in the car to the radio station. I like realized, because for me, um, what, what went on inside of me was so loud and so strong and so intense and so horrible for so long. The silence of it was just amazing. It's been almost seven years. I have not, I mean, I haven't for one second had even the smallest urge. It wasn't like he just changed the direction of my life. He lifted the obsession. And it was an obsession. And I love Forest Hill. Um, when I was baptized out in the courtyard, it just felt right that I was baptized in the courtyard in front of where I just married my husband and where I meet God. <laughs> 